Hey Scorpios, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the What You Need to Know in the next 72 hour readings. Quick little PSA announcement. I am um, running all the social medias different as far as um, like for my new solar year, I have cut down. So um, I'm going to be posting three times a month, all 12 zodiac signs. So in the beginning, I'm now going to be offering love readings. I do... I'm going to, uh, instead of doing the what you need to know in the next 72 hours twice a month, I will be doing that once a month. And then you'll have your general guidance messages in the middle of the month, okay? Um, if you want to watch me live, you can watch me over on Instagram. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. I also go live for the full moon readings. Um, if you want to just share collective messages, you can watch me on TikTok, Stars Universe 777. All right. Let's see. Scorpio. Ooh. So something doesn't want to come together, Scorpio. And in your heart of hearts, I think you know what it is. You could be dealing with the Leo. But you need to listen to your intuition as far as uh, this goes. Because um, I feel like something's falling apart. So something could come back together. Um, tower energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. Or a fellow Scorpio. Okay, you have fairies. You have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. So there may, there may be something around Mother's Day that might be triggering you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, with the crown chakra here, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance and sent in to answer your prayers. Something wasn't right in the past. Um, and I feel like you let it go. You let it go because you didn't feel like it was um, anything that was involved with your life purpose here. Um, as a matter of fact, you even thought that it may have been detouring you from your life purpose here. But I feel like with the crown chakra here, something uh, that tower, that tower um, energy again. There is a lightning bolt moment, an aha moment, an enlightenment where you realize that something was put in your path as divine guidance. This was the answer to your prayer. Um, I feel like you were really drawing this in too with the vegetarian and vegan here. Uh, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give a boost of high life frequency energy which elevates your spiritual frequency. Vegetarian and vegan is also fasting to me. So, yeah, um, some, like there is religious fasting going on here, um, possibly on the daily, either you or the person that you're directly dealing with, Scorpio. But this person was in a very high vibration as they were calling in this energy. I feel like they were deaf they, and they were they had higher guidance here because they have one, two, three, four, five, six, six waterfalls here, the six of swords energy here. Uh, possibly the six of cups. That's also you um your energy, Scorpio. So there could have been a lot of reminiscing here. Somebody was calling somebody back with their memories. In their memories. Possibly there could have been um we do have Neptune and Pisces right now. I feel like there could have been something in the dream state that could have happened here. Or some kind of realization through dreams or a meditative state as well. Clarify fairies. Ooh, okay. You have cut your cords and vacuum away fear in the reverse. Yeah, okay, see, this This is what I mean. You cut something out because you thought that they weren't part of your life purpose, but that was a negative. This person was sent in to answer your prayers, but you got scared with the vacuum away fear. You ran away. Either you or the person that you're directly dealing with. This vacuum away fear in the reverse is seven of swords energy to me. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but it's like this person is unhealed, and that's why they took off. You get me? Like, they weren't meant to be in your sphere. Yeah, with the third eye chakra here, like they were, um, you could possibly have been dealing with a very heavy energy vampire here, Scorpio. That they were simply using you for your mystic powers. And we all know Scorpios, they could see well into the future, way more than you understand, Scorpios, sometimes. I, and I understand because of the Taurus, you're my sister sign. And polar opposites, definitely, but we have a, a understanding of um, the present moment and grounding the present moment because we see so far into the future. Hierophant energy. 
um, they, you got a message from your angels here to prepare for something, almost like prepare for battle, Scorpio, is kind of what I'm hearing. Um, so there could be um, some occult, occultism, you know, running around this sign, which makes sense. Um, could be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces deals with mysticism. Could be dealing with the Libra, with the healing energy here, or Cancer. But you got a vision and you stuck to it because you knew that there was a fight in the future that you needed to prepare for. And I feel like this is like this is more than um this is more than beats the eye here, Scorpio, with the third eye chakra. Like this is like this is um this is a fight for generations to come. There is stability that is being built here with the healing away addictions in the at the bottom of, of the deck. I feel like um uh. A lot of us 80s 90s babies you know we are um we are productivity of the war on drugs scorpio so this could be some of that especially over here in california and los angeles area where i'm from that's definitely something um i'm picking up um a rising revolution energy um someone is fighting back here someone is with the healing away addiction somebody ha is breaking into um generational curses that have long to do with this war on drugs here and um they may have been losing with the vacuum away fear and the cut cords here but with the third eye chakra coming out in the in the upright the healing away addictions coming out in the upright somebody somebody's about to turn this shit around somebody's winning now if they thought they were losing, they only lost a battle, but they're about to win the win the war. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, Rising revolution. Clarified crown chakra. Mm, yeah, I'm telling you, the war on drugs with the page of cups here. Um, somebody's fighting for their birthright back for their t like there's a telepathic inheritance here scorpio that's up in the air um but yeah it's literally up in the air nobody has quite gotten is if this uh um this is a gift this is a gift from the higher gener generations your ancestors here they're they're uh, a grandparent a great grandparent on the other side is holding on to this gift because uh nobody has quite nobody has quite reached the um how do i say this it's like in their eyes in your ancestors eyes scorpio nobody has quite reached the um the expectation that your ancestors want in order to release this spiritual inheritance because the spiritual inheritance is very fucking strong and i feel like if it's given to the wrong child here with the page of cups here it will destroy them and that and i i really do feel like with the healing away addictions here what what it might do is the reason why it's frozen here like frozen in time is because there there was drugs uh here either in either one of the parents here um it doesn't have to be um understand too scorpio it doesn't have to be um street drugs it doesn't have to be meth or alcohol or or coke or weed this could be prescription drugs somebody could have with the telepathic messages here somebody could have been taking xanax or some kind of antidepressant that really really suppressed their intuition here and because of that it it um caused this this spiritual inheritance to be paused held because you see these pearls of wisdom here that the fairy is holding she's holding it up the same way that he's holding up the cup you cannot receive the downloads from your ancestors because they do not feel like you're ready either you or the person that you're directly dealing with scorpio clarify vegetarian vegan there's supposed to be an empath born into your lineage here. Look, but with the Page of Pentacles, the child has not been born yet. The child has not been born yet, Scorpio. This gift of divination here is for a child within your... It, it, it's for your future child, Scorpio. This is for a child you have not had yet. So, Scorpio, if you're a parent already 
and you have kids, um, you're you're destined. You're predestined for one more. It could be a. It might be a water sign. It might be a a. a um, it might be an earth sign. It could be that you have an earth sign child that is in training here with the page of pentacles in the reverse. Um, that has like hints of the of of the of the gift already. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. There could be there could be an earth sign child that already has it. Um, but Scorpio, there's still um there's still um very much something stronger here that could be that could be um from the from the mother side of the lineage that still needs to um be unwrapped here so um there's a yeah with the empress here i feel like and the page of pentacles in the reverse in less than a year there's going to be a child born to you scorpio and that and this child is 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 destined literally for greatness Or in less than a year, you're going to see some kind of productivity from this, this earth sign child that's going to show you that they're going to grow up to be this empress here, or slash emperor, if they're, if they're a male. Yeah, you have the queen of cups here and the empress. Like, you may have two children here. Or these children are, are 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 related in some way, shape or form. But this child is meant to be they're they're meant to grow up to be empathic. They're actually gonna have a prophetic uh, a prophetic career for them. And they're gonna be really great at what they do, Scorpio. I feel like it's gonna be a female, but it doesn't have to be because the page of pentacles and the page of cups are both males and then the the um the adult versions are are females but it could be either or here it's kind of what i'm seeing yeah it could be a libra a taurus or an aries but this is this is um, this is long overdue. This is something that's been in the DNA for generations that has not been tapped into, and it needs to now. Like I said, like some like somebody's lineage here, Scorpio is definitely preparing for the for for an all-out war. And in order for this war to be won, it's almost like this child has to be born. Any final messages? When a situation becomes unnecessarily complicated or confusing to your heart, Kali Mahamaya arises spontaneously as a protective barrier of universal truth. That's what this that's what this child is going to represent here, Scorpio. The universal truth, the bearer of universal truth. You may be having an, an Aquarius. Ultimately, her revelations shall lead you beyond that which is deceptive and is not right for you. This you are promised. She protects you from that which is unworthy of your heart and seeks to constrain your spirit. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, I would definitely uh, watch the Sagittarius video. Because somebody is definitely, I, I, I get it, it's spring too. And usually, you know... April showers bring May flowers, you know, so there's a lot of pregnancies that are going to be popping up during the season. It is the season for it, uh, but I, I Scorpio, if, you're, if you have Sagittarius placements or you are dealing with the Sagittarius, I would definitely um, pick up and watch that video because there there is a higher alignment here that is being, that is being put into place. Um, like I said, somebody has definitely been fasting for this for a while and they're definitely in alignment. Um, even though somebody's um, ancestors may be blocked, whether that's you, Scorpio, or the person that you're di directly dealing with, the person that 
is not blocked is getting the information from both lineages, from your ancestors and from theirs. All right, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. It was very interesting. Bye.